to my channel. I hope you are really, really well. Today I thought we would do a super fun and easy video. This is going to be 10 tricks you can teach your Pomeranian today. Okay, the very first thing you want to teach your dog is what a treat is. And teaching them the word treat is one of the best things you can do. First of all, you need some really tasty treats that they're going to absolutely love. <laughs> She's going up. Um, and secondly, if you teach them the word treat, then you always have a backup bribe up your sleeve for if you're out on long walks and they run away and recall isn't working, then you always have a backup plan. So I'm going to show you how this works for us because when we use this word, we always use it when we want to get the perfect photo of Peppy. And I will insert a few photos that we've taken using this method. Um, but yeah, I'm just using butternut box, lamb, um, treats, and she adores these. So if I get her to come down here, Pep, come here, come here, come here, come here, sit, stay, stay. So is she in camera? Maybe I'll bring her over. Come this way, here. No, 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 get down. Good girl. Right, stay, stay. So I'm going to come behind the camera now, and I'm going to try and get a nice photo of her, and I'll say, good girl, Pep. You gonna stay there? Bring these. Bring the tree. And you can get, can you see her little tongue out? The perfect photo. So I'm gonna give her one because this is really teasing. Good girl. Okay, the other thing is, if you're doing any training, you may want to break up your treats a little bit uh, because otherwise your dog is gonna get very overweight very quickly. Um, especially with puppies, we always used to cut the treats up loads so that we had um, enough for them. So that was my first little trick and little tip. Okay, and this is a repeat of one of my earlier videos a little bit, but I thought it was worth reiterating it. Um, one of the best things you can teach your dog to do is to sit. Okay, so one of the best ways to try and get your dog to sit, obviously she's very interested in this and she's already sitting, so come, come around, come around. The best thing you want to do is hold the treat so that your dog has to put their bum on the floor. If you hold it just above them, and then if I get her to, sit and then you add in the speech as well and you say sit and you get them to sit and as soon as they've got their bums on the ground like that good girl then you reward that if they're jumping up for it don't reward them until they have that bum on the ground and they're doing really really well the next easiest thing from there is to teach them to lie down if you've already got them to master the sit the lie down should be very easy you can see how much she wants this treat so pep sit come here can you see her yeah Pep, sit. Okay, and then to lie down, all you want to do is put the treat as close to the floor as you can until their belly is on the floor. And then you say, lie down, lie down. Leave it, lie down. Good girl, good girl. And as soon as they're lying down and they've got their belly on the floor, then you reward them and you keep going until they're not trying to go for the treat the whole time. She just knows I have treats now, so she's very excited about it. Rather than going for mine, she's going for the bag. So the next best thing to teach them from your sit and your lie down is to stay. Now we use this every time when we want her to eat her food and things like that, when we just want her to be a little bit patient. Or say for instance, we're out on a walk and a bike comes past or a car comes past and we want her to be safe and we know she's gonna be safe. This is why we've taught her this. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk across the room, I'll get her to sit here and stay here. So the way you do this is that once you've mastered the sit, that's great, or the lie down or whatever you want to do, then that's perfect. And then to get them to stay, all you need to do is get them to sit in that spot for as long as you want them to with the stay command. So you're getting them to sit and then you're telling them to stay for as long as you want them to essentially. And then if they've done that for the period of time that you want them to do it for, then you reward them. And that's how they understand that you're telling them. So with that, there are two commands. There is stay and there is what we use is get on. So when we say get on, she knows that she can move and it's all right for her to come out of the position that she was in. Okay, are we ready? Are you begging? Are you begging? Can you see that on camera? That's so cute. Right, come here. Right, sit. You stay, you stay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the treat down here so it's extra temptation. Stay, stay, stay. 
she's not even looking at it now. Get on. Good girl. What a good girl. And always loads and loads of praise when they do exactly what you want them to do. You are such a good girl. The next thing we're going to try and do is get her to walk. So she's not done this for a long time. And normally when I get her to try and do this, she just gives me a spin, which is not what I want, but I will show you that next. So, first of all, what we want to do is try and get her to stand up. Come here, what's this? In a tree? Stand up. Up. Good girl. Good girl. Up. She's just getting really excited now. Come here. Up. Good girl. So when we've got that motion, if we bring our hands along, good girl. Up. Good girl. And if we move it like that, can you see she's walking? Um, so that's what we want. So with that, I'm going to get her to stay up there and say, walk, walk, good girl, and I'll give her the treat. So we're going to try that again and see if we can do that without me holding on to the treat and without her holding on to the treat, doing it unaided. So come here, up, puppy, up. No, come here, look, up, up, good girl, walk, walk, walk. Good girl, good girl. So as you can see, she's a little bit out of practice with this one, so I'm gonna keep doing this a few times. I'm actually gonna try standing and see if that helps her. So, wait, leave it, leave it. Come, come. Okay, up, walk, walk, walk. Good girl, good girl. Okay, so that's been three times now. So let's see if we can get her to do that on her own. <laughs> Right, and also as you can see I am breaking these treats up because they are rather large so I'm making sure I've got little bits at a time. Good girl, walk, walk, come back, come back, come over here, come here, good girl, up, walk, 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 good girl. See that was better but she still has her paws up so let's try one more time. Good girl! So you see, even if they do a few steps, that's perfect, that's what we want. Let's try one more time, see if we can get her to do her best yet. Hey, come here, up, up, let go, let go, wait, up, up, walk, walk, walk. Good girl, good girl. Now we're gonna get her to do her spin. This one is something that she knows how to do. Essentially, this is exactly the same command that we did for the up and the walking but we want to get her to spin. So what I'm going to do is get her to stand up, up, and spin. So what we're doing there is turning my hand round so she has to, so she's forced to go round in a circular motion, can you see? And then we add the, ow, gently, <laughs> little monkey. And then when we add the command as well, then she starts to know what we're doing. So I'll show you that one more time so that you know what you're doing. Hippy up, spin, good girl. And then I'll show you how she does it now without any help. So Peppy spin, spin. Good girl, you're so clever. This next one, I'm gonna need my very helpful volunteer to help me with, please. Hey, Do you mind? Yeah, what? you. <laughs> so I'm going to get Ben on camera with me because we're going to show you how to do something now. So Peppy, come here. Peppy, I love you. Good girl. I love you. Good girl. Peppy, let's try one more. I love you. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, now I'm going to use my volunteer to show you how we got her to do this. So what I'm gonna do is get Ben to come and sit behind me, sorry. Hello. <laughs> so, and then what Ben is gonna do, I'm gonna hold my hands like this in a heart shape, and what Ben is gonna do, there's one there actually, is get a treat and put it through my hands so that Peppy is forced to put her nose through my hands in order to get the treat. So, let's try it, Peppy sit. Good girl, stay. Okay, so with this, do you wanna put the treat through? Peppy, I love you. I love you. Get it. Good girl. Good girl. So as you can see, I, I don't actually know how you would do this if you were one person, but we found it's a lot easier to try and do with two people. So once again, I'll show you that again. Hold it in your mouth. Do you want to get one? I mean, you could hold it in your mouth. <laughs> if you don't mind treat. holding on to yeah. the tree. <laughs> so let's try one more time. Pippi, come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Stay. Okay. Ooh, I'll let you finish that one. Are you finished? Okay. 
Okay, I love you. Good girl, good girl. And you can see she went straight up through my hands in order to get that. So let's try one more time now, minus them. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> Pep, come here. Peppy, come and sit down. Come and sit down. Sit, sit. Can you see her? So I'm gonna show you this now again without it. Peppy, I love you. Good girl, clever girl. And that's that one. This next one is to touch something. What I'm gonna get her to do today, and she doesn't actually know this trick. So this is, I'm gonna try this and hopefully it'll work. But what I want her to do is to touch this hand and then I'll give her the treat. So this is basically, you can get them to touch whatever object you want them to. Um, and again with various different commands and then you can give them the treat as the reward um, So let's show you what I mean by this. So Pep, come and sit. Sit. Pep, touch. So I don't want her to touch it with her paws. I want her to touch it with her nose. No, sit. Sit. So as soon as she does that, good girl, I'll reward that behaviour. So as you just saw, she put her face against my hand. So I'm going to reward that. So let's try again and see if she... Every single trick takes a few times before they can get it, and it may even be that just in one day you focus on one trick, um, because it will take them a little while to get it. Come sit down. No sit. Let me touch. No sit. Touch. Not with your hand. Good girl. Good girl. So again, as you saw, the minute she put her nose to my hand, good girl. She's got it now. So I'll add in the sound effect as well. Touch. Good girl, good girl. So let's see if I do one finger, or let's do thumb and see if she touches thumb. Good girl, clever puppy. So that's how you teach them to touch. So there we go, Peppy learned a new trick just then as well. These last two are ones that Peppy is very well versed at. They are high five and shake hands. First of all, we're gonna do a high five. And this works similarly to the touch thing. Look, she knows what she's doing already. Peppy actually does a high 10 because for her to lift up one hand is quite a big effort. So I'm gonna show you what I do for that, but high five. She already does know that, but essentially what you can do with that, at drop, drop, good girl. Um, what you can do with that is lift up your dog's paw and get them to put it on you as a high five, and then you give them the treat and they will start to understand that that's what they need to do. Can you come here? Good girl, sit. Peppy, high five. Good girl. And while she's up there, I give her the treat. You clever girl. Should we try one more time and show everyone one more time? Peppy, high five. Good girl. Okay, and exactly the same with shake hands. All you need to do is lift up your dog's paw so that it is in the shake hands motion. Come here, please. She's just so excited for the treats. So all you then want to do, pep, sit. Good girl, shake hands. Good girl, clever girl. Obviously she's not actually doing the shaking hands motion, but she is giving me her paw, which essentially is the same as shaking hands. Sit, come sit, sit. Good girl, shake hands, shake hands. Good girl. So as you can see there, she did a lie down one, but that was still good. She still gave me her paw, so that was great. Peppy is absolutely knackered now. I don't know if you can hear or see her panting away, but we had a lot of fun doing that and showing you 10 little tricks that she has learnt, um, or 10 things that you can teach your dog. Any dog would be able to do these tricks, I'm so sure of it. Um, so yeah, do let me know if you give any of these a go. Don't forget to tag us on your Instagram posts as well, we always love to see you and your dogs. Um, and don't forget to leave us a comment down below, we'll see you in our next video.